Coldwater and Marin Local playing on Saturday for state football titles. More on those contests tomorrow night on the Sports Board. And still time on tonight's Sports Board to enter our trivia contest. When was the last time a MAC team did not win a state title in football? I'll give you a hint. It's been this century. Earlier this week, Cavaliers Brody Hoying named the Division 5 Co-Offensive Player of the Year, while teammate Mitch Fullenkamp earned Defensive Player of the Year honors. Austin Scott will tell us if that's good enough to find a place in the Layfield Welding Top 5 Plays of the Week. Winter sports making their way onto the top five with the championship game of the Bath Tip-Off Classic. Haley Brennick drives into the paint, spins off a defender and uses the glass for the two. Nice moves by the junior. Bath wins this one big over Finley, 54 to 26. More girls basketball at number four tip-off tournament action in Van Wert. Mackenzie Riggenball fires up the triple from the corner and buries it with the foul. That sets up the four-point play opportunity. Crestview claims the crown in this championship game over Ottoville, 54-40. Oldwater staying at the three spot for the second straight week. Brody Hoyne takes the snap and puts a couple of defenders on skates here, and he goes in for the score. Hashtag Brody being Brody. One of his four touchdowns on the night. Cavaliers back to the state title game for the sixth straight year and hoping to make it three championships in a row. The Marion local Flyers take a step back this week and land on the runner-up spot of the countdown. Jess Weep hand off to Hunter Wilker, then he throws on the binders and tosses to Kyle Homan in the end zone for the touchdown. Wilker said they practiced this play throughout the week and it pays off for the first points of the game. Flyers looking for more points before the half. Dustin Rethman steps into the throw and it goes off the hands of David Bogart and into the midst of Hunter Wilker. Marion Local takes a 35-7 lead into the half and pulls away for the victory. Columbus Grove ends their great season at 9-5 and the Flyers will play for a fourth straight state championship Saturday morning at 10. The Wildcats of Minster take top honors this week on the countdown, facing off with Tenora. The Rams back to punt and it gets blocked. Ball bounces back towards the end zone and Chad Stoner recovers it just short of the goal line. Minster takes over and that sets up Josh Nixon who pumps and pulls the ball down, hustles into the end zone for what would be the game winning touchdown. The junior quarterback helps lead the orange and black to the state title game for the first time in 25 years. We thank Leifel Welding for helping us count down the best plays each week and also thanks to our cameramen for providing great shots just like the one you're seeing right now from Matt Finkel.